Hi everyone, today I will teach you how to build MRP table when we use POQ method to determine all the lot size. So what is POQ? POQ stands for periodic order quantity. It means that the periodic time will be fixed. The order quantity can be different but the periodic time will be fixed. So let's see what kind of information we have here. We have the gross requirement. This one is the demand from the customer. So we have the demand is 150 tables in week 1. 120 tables have to be delivered to the customer in week 4. 150 tables in week 6. And 120 tables in week 7. We have the schedule receipts is 230 tables in week 1. So what is schedule receipts? Schedule receipts is an old order that is about to arrive at a specific date. So here it means the company will receive 230 tables in week 1. We know the, the beginning <coughs> We have the beginning inventory is 37 tables. The safety stock is zero, so we do not keep any safety stock. Bit time is two weeks. What does bit time mean? It means if you order in week one, two weeks later you will receive your order. So it's like the waiting time starting when you order until the order arrives to you. And periodic time is fixed when we use periodic order quantity. And here is three weeks. So when we plan to receive the order, when what we have in our hands is not enough to satisfy the order, the demand, we will plan to receive the first batch of products. So here, we can see currently we have the on-hand inventory is 37. We will receive 230 tables in week 1. So the total products we will have is Two hundred sixty-seven. So two hundred sixty-seven is larger than one hundred fifty. So we don't need to receive any new products here. Okay. So how can I fulfill the plan receipts row? I will check the condition if what we have in week one is less than the demand. So what we have in week 1 is the beginning inventory plus the scatter receipt less than the demand, the gross requirement. If this one is true, we have to plan to receive the new orders with the quantity of the sum of the demands in week 1, week 2, and week 3. So why we need to take the sum of the gross requirement of week 1, week 2, and week 3? Because our periodic time is 3 weeks. Minus the schedule receipt and minus the inventory in the last periods. If not, we don't need to receive the new order so it's equal to zero. How about on hand inventory? How can we calculate it? It will equal to what we receive minus what we deliver. So what we have we have on hand inventory in last periods plus what we receive in this period is the plan received plus the schedule receipt and minus what we have to deliver to the customer. So we can calculate the 
on hand inventory. Okay. So how about week two, week three to week eight? It's the same. So you can just copy and paste the cell. The lead time is two weeks, so we have to order two weeks in advance. So to receive 150 tables in week four, we need to make the order two weeks in advance, that is in week two. And the same to receive the table in week seven, we have to make order in week five. In week one, we will receive 230 tables for the schedule receipt and deliver 150 tables to the customer. In week 2, we will make an order of 153 tables. In week 3, do we need to do anything? Not right. But in week 4, we will receive 150 tables and deliver 120 tables to the customer. In week 5, We will make an order of 120 tables in week 6. We will deliver 150 tables to the customer. In week 7, we will receive 120 tables and deliver 120 tables to the customer.